Hey everybody, it's Jenna Lees from Little Brown Girls. Today I'm going to be showing you a technique um, for people with thin hair or Caucasian hair when they want to get extensions but they don't want the bulky braids in their hair. So basically, um, I'm going to be showing you how to do this pattern here. Ooh, let me zoom out a little bit. This is basically um, a stitching process that allows you to make a tight little durable um, base rather than putting in the braid so I'm going to show you how I did that hopefully everybody can see that on my doll head so let me set the camera up and then we'll get started Basically, I had the client's hair, well, the doll head, set up with bobby pins, but you can use those little duck bill clips, too. What you want to do is cut this one first. What you want to do is um, go ahead and make a little slice in the hair, make a section. Try to get it as even as possible. And then you can hold the hair up with bobby pins or duck book clips if you have them. For this training purpose, we're going to be using bobby pins. So, for this particular doll, because of the color of her hair, you want to try to get string that matches. I'm going to be using the brown nylon thread and a curved needle. Make sure you make a knot at the end of your needle to secure it so that it won't slide through. And always remember to cut the, um, you'll always usually have some string at the bottom of your knot. Clip that off because it usually looks raggedy if you leave it on. So the way you start is um, you get as close to the hairline as you can. Are you getting that? Get as close to the hairline as you can, and with the needle on a loop fashion, you go under, grab the hair down, come under again, and find the split of the thread, which is right here, and you want to go through that. And just pull it tight and then go through it again to the next section of hair you're going to repeat the same process so it's while holding the hair down you're looping under the hair once and then on the second time you go through the thread and loop it and it kind of makes a little knot then you go up under that knot through the loop and tie it off. Just make sure you're holding the hair down so that it doesn't get confused. Go on to the next section, closest to the hairline as you can get. Grab it, go through the two pieces of thread, loop it through. Then go through the thread and make a little knot. Go on to the next section. You're going under the hair and back. Then go to the through the two pieces of thread, back under the hair and over. Depending on how durable you want or how long you're going to wear, then you make the decision or determination how many times you bring it through. Then you go through the knot that you just made or the stitch you just made and pull it upwards to make a knot. <coughs> go to the next section. Do the same thing. 
draw it through. Bring it through again. Bring it through the hole. Pull it up to make a slip knot. And since this is the end of it, you want to tie this one twice so that it's tight because that's what's keeping your pattern together. Can you zoom in? And then as you can see, you have this nice little durable base. And this is going to take the place of a braid because most people with thin hair or they have Caucasian hair, they don't want big lumpy braids in their hair. So it makes it have a flat surface and you would just sew the track on top. So this was a way of showing you how to put in extensions, weft extensions. Um, a weft extension is this. Anything that has a track, this is considered a weft extension. So basically when you do a base like this, you're taking a place of that braid and you would just sew the weft on top of that. You can still go through the weft and sew it just as if there was a braid there, but the surface is going to be flatter. So it's your girl, Jenna Lee's 007 from Little Brown Girls, and I'm showing you how to make a base for applying extensions without braids. So braidless extensions. Thank you for watching. Please do rate and subscribe.